Okay, so every once in a while I get questions regarding battery in the remote, how to put it in, how to take it out, and if a new battery has been installed, possibly why it's not working after the new battery is installed. So take a look here. This is the proper placement for the battery. You do not want to see the crimped side of the battery up. You want to see the side of the battery up that's the positive side that is the side that has the writing on it. That's very important, otherwise it will not work. Now, in order to take the battery out properly, I have found that a little flathead screwdriver works nicely. Get in underneath the battery on more towards the side of the plastic piece, and then you want to um, pry it up there and out. That's the best way as long as you can still find the battery out, you do that, um, to, to get it out. Because otherwise you can bend this metal piece on this side, which is a very important uh, component. Now, if you've put it in wrong and you can feel the battery wiggle while it's in, that's an issue. So you need to push on this metal piece a bit and the little tiny piece down at the bottom, just push on it a little bit to bend it inward. And then, when you put the battery back in, put it into the metal side, and then push until it clips down in. Then when you feel it, it should not wiggle. Okay, to know if your remote has power, there is a green light that flashes. Now, you have to kind of tilt it around a bit, and this is the hole right over here. So you have to kind of tilt it around a little bit until you get the right angle and you can see the green light flash. There, did you see it? Right there. Okay, it's not directly down in because we don't want an audience seeing that green light flash if you're wearing it on your belt every time you push it. Okay, so you do have to look basically downward towards the center of the remote through, through that hole in order to see it flash. Alright, and that should help you out with the battery.